Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. This is, I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. So just for everybody who is new, um, just a little bit about myself. Um, I have had these abilities since I was a since for as long as I can remember, honestly, I don't know why I can't talk today. It's very weird, but I've had these abilities since I, for as long as I can remember, um, I've been what they might call a channel where information just comes through me for you. People would be talking to me, ask, you know, telling me what's going on in their life and information would just come through and, um, yeah, come out of my mouth. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's there's a little bit about myself. The show that I'm doing right now airs on um, WSCS, Rude Rangers TV, and many, many, many streaming channels, including Roku, Roku, however you say that word. Um, I am the author of seven books that I have channeled, which to me is kind of interesting because I'm extremely dyslexic and I never thought that I would ever write a book because of my dyslexia. <laughs> I mean, I can write whole sentences backwards, um, but because of my niece, and my sister taking the time to edit them, they I I was able to um, publish uh, seven books that I've channeled, and I'm really grateful for them for all of the work and the help that they give me with each and every book. I am working on book number eight, which is a little bit different than the other books that I've done. Um, so my books that I have channeled in the past have been poems and messages of light and love. And this book is a little, it's a, it's a little different. It's just a little different. Um, I think that's why it's taking me so long to get it out because I love the like lovey dovey poems. And this book is definitely a little edgier. So I've been procrastinating, not knowing how it will be received by people. <laughs> um, if you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the number is 845-277-9131. If you would like to um, join and, and watch the show live, it's a uh, YouTube live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. Uh, I am available for um, live events and corporate events, and I do travel to do corporate and live events, um, expos, so on and so forth. So if any of that is something that you're looking for, please let me know. Okay, now I am going to get going. Oh, one more thing. Um, I'm on all this, I'm on most social media things. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, I, and I will never, ever reach out to anybody. So if somebody reaches out to you on any of those things, if they message you, it's not me. I will. I don't even, I've shut off all direct messaging on all of those things almost, and I don't even read my messages on those. Um, so if anybody ever messages you claiming to be me, it's not me. Please do not waste your hard-earned money um, on a scammer. Uh, if you want a session with me, there's um, you can call my private, uh, my business number, which is 414-897-2869. Or you can um, e um, email, no, not email me. Go to my website, uh, www.tonig.info. Those are the only ways. I don't reach out to people for sessions. I mean, seriously, people reach out 
and I try to get back to them as soon as possible, but I don't even respond to emails for sessions. Um, I just tell people, call me as it says on my website, pay for the session, call this number, book it. Um, I, I get over a hundred emails a day. And you can tell by the way I'm stressed in my voice that that is just overwhelming to me. So I'm not taking the time to, I don't even sometimes, I just delete a lot of emails. I do. Um, so anyway, having said all of that, I'm going to now start taking callers. Please, if you are calling in, when I call, say your area code, please give me your name and where you're calling from. Also, um, have one exact question or connection available. And what else? Oh, take me off a speakerphone. Okay, this is like the sloppiest intro ever. Oh, one more thing. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I'm on TikTok and I, I really like TikTok. I think it's very good. I think there are a lot of benefits of TikTok. Um, there are a lot of healings that I've done and they are on TikTok. So if you go to my app, Psychic Tony on TikTok. There are many clearings and healings there. And I have a second page called Live Beauty Reviews, but it's live.beauty.reviews. And um, I'm going to be doing live reviews of beauty products that I own, um, tools and products that I own, because over the years I've bought tons of face um, tools, hair tools, body tools. Um, and I'm going to be getting live procedure procedures done live. I'm going to be airing them on TikTok. I don't know what I was thinking when I thought of this, but I like it. I like it. It's, it's hitting a new thing for me. So I'm going to be um, a week from today, right after my show next Wednesday, I am going to be um, going and having a procedure done and I'm going to be airing it live on TikTok on my live beauty review channel. <laughs> and here's the thing. I'm not always really great like with pain and pokes and needles and stuff. So, so at the very least, this should be hilarious. Um, no, it should be really, really good. It should be so good. So good. <laughs> or not. I mean, um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, let's go to the very first caller. The very first caller is 917. 917, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Tim. I'm calling from New York. How are you doing today? Hey, Tim. I'm good. How are you? How can I help you today, Tim? Oh, well, I just was uh, calling to see what spirit had for me in regards to the manifestation I've been working on. I've been grounding, asking uh, St. Germain and other guys just for some assistance, uh, trying to keep the frequency high. So I know, uh, you know it starts with me. I just was curious if uh, Spirit is hearing me and if they have anything for me. Yeah, so let's do... So Spirit is hearing you, and I think um, it's good that you're going to St. Germain, but keep it open to any... Um, any uh, light love beings that can come in and give you assistance. Also, what I'm hearing for you, Tim, is call on your ancestors, your loved ones who have passed on. They'll they'll gladly come in and assist you also. What we're going to do right now is um, Tim is overwhelmed. I get a yes. Let's uh, clear that. Um, and then I am going to ask, um, Tim is getting the assistance he needs. I get a no, so let's clear that also. And let's make this a little bit more open for anybody who's needing assistance right now. It's coming in. I'm getting a no. Let's clear that. Um, I feel like in a week it's going to lighten up, Tim. You're going to have um, a lot of things coming in that are going to be very, very uh, helpful and beneficial to you. Um, remember always to keep open, um, 
everything you're asking for, everything you're putting out there. When we put things out there in manifestation, prayer, whatever we want to call it, we need to keep it very open. If we put it in a box, it just takes a little longer and it's a little bit more difficult for them to deliver it to us in that exact box. Um, but you're doing an amazing job. I think in a week, things should start to open up again for you. Um, and I do want to say, Tim, in um, August and September, we're going to see a lot of changes uh, throughout our country. Uh, some of these changes have already started in other countries. But August and September are, is when some of these changes are going to come in for us. And it should lighten it up and make it a little bit at first, maybe a, a, a pinch more difficult, but then it's going to take off and make it easier for us down by the time we hit a certain point. But we'll wait and see what happens. Um, but I do feel like in a week, everything should even out for you. Okay, Tim? Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it, Tom. Absolutely. And I will talk with you again soon. And thank you so much for calling in again. Yeah. I'm going to go directly to 904. 904. Hello. How are you today? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. Thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Um, my name is Wendy, and I'm calling from Florida. Excellent, Wendy. How can I help you today? I want to see what you see in regards to a job coming up soon for me, please. Okay, the first thing I hear is between a month and a month and a half, right around that five-week mark. Um, you're going to, I don't, I don't know if you're going to get something, if you'll already have it, or if you're going to know you're going to have it at that point. I feel like whatever you're going to do, it's going to be a little bit more independent than what you've done in the past. I feel like you're going to have um, some freedom with this job or career, whatever you want to call it. You're going to have some freedom with it. And you're going to be able to call a few shots with that. One of the things that they're asking is that you also look at opportunities outside of, con uh, they're calling it constricted or constrictive work places, meaning opportunities on your own, something you can do on your own that gives you a little bit more freedom. I feel like somebody's going to approach you or, or you're going to see something that offers you something a little bit more uh, like independent in about, again, I'm getting a month. Everything's going to come together in about a month for you in that uh, four or five week mark. Everything's going to start to come together for you, uh, given the fact that you look. I mean, you can't, you know, we can't just sit back and, you know, eat bonbons on the couch and expect it all to fall in our lap. Right. We still have to be out there looking. I do feel like, however, there is something coming in. It's already in align in alignment for you. And you're going to have two things. And I'm going to say, I think you should take both of these things. These things are, one is a more... Um, is more of like a workplace thing. And the other one is a, um, in a more of an independent opportunity that you can do kind of when you want. Um, and I think you should seriously try, give it an attempt to do both, both of them because they're both going to have significant benefits and they're going to bring you in a great deal of um, ex extra, like one is going to bring you in extra money and the other one's going to be good pay. But you, you'll be happy if you keep both of them because it will keep you in that balanced place. And I'm hearing the statement, when it rains, it pours. So you go from, from famine to feast sort of thing and it's okay. The other thing I'm hearing from you is between now and then, if you want to do some, um, like some, some, you know, cash, cash work that you should go ahead and look at that you might be surprised at what you find okay love 
Okay. I hope that she said made uh, perfect sense. So. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I, I know okay. sometimes even when it's coming out of my mouth, I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope, you know, whomever this is for, they understand it and they know. So I'm really happy yeah, that it makes one sense. Is a, yeah, one is a cash a side business and one is one where you get benefits. So it does make sense. This right in my arena. So yes. Yes. And you know what? The one that is cash, the side thing is actually uh-huh. going to be the one that might eventually, eventually, not from the jump, but eventually bring you in more money. However, you might keep the other yes, one for the, the stability and the benefits, right? <laughs> but you're going to be able right, to put right. so much time and effort into the other one. You know, I love when people say to me, I don't have time. I work this many hours. I'm like, turn off, turn off your, um, you can do it while you're watching your TV. You can do it while you're listening to your podcast. But it takes literally when you're starting off, it takes literally an hour a day, an hour a day. You can do it while you're eating your lunch at work. You can do it like depending on what you're going to do. Sometimes it takes literally only an hour a day to start your side thing that will bring you in extra money and maybe even financial freedom. And this can be anything, you know, in any area of of, of your life, anything you're passionate about. And I just believe we should have multiple streams of income at all times, at all times. But yeah, yes, I'm so happy this makes sense to you. Please uh, follow both opportunities. Um, I feel like there's going to be four opportunities, but you have to uh, like bring it down to the right opportunities for you. Okay, love? Okay. All righty. Thank you. You're so welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. I am going to let everybody um, know if you are interested in my books, I have an author page on Amazon under my name, T-O-N-I-G-R-E-E-N-E, or you can Google my books. I know I, I don't promote myself very well. I'm very well aware of the fact that I'm not good at self-promotion. I don't even put the links in half of my stuff or my books. Um, So what I'm going to say is if you Google my name on Amazon and um, you go to my author page, all of my books are there. I'm going to go to 941 next. 941, what's your name and where are you calling from? Catherine, and I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Catherine, how can I help you today? Hi, Tony. Um, I want to know if you see any romantic interest coming into my life. Mm-hmm. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, yes, Catherine, there is somebody coming in. He's a little bit of a, the guy I'm seeing, the person I'm seeing right now is a bit. Um, yeah, there's somebody coming in. And I feel like I don't know who this person is. I'm going to describe them because it might be somebody on the other side who's putting this together for you. But this this person or it might be the person coming in. I don't know. But who I'm seeing right now is a it's a male with um, dark curly hair. It's a little bit salt and pepper, a bigger guy, tan, little little bit of a belly. Short sleeve button up shirt, blue with little white things on it. That's really exact. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so exact. Wow. So, I mean, and then shorts, the like, not the hoochie mama shorts that the boys are wearing today to tease us all. Um, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, the um, they're a little bit like the khaki like uh, oh maybe I don't know I'm not seeing the shorts very very clearly but this with this it he this person is more like a teddy bear type of person like body um like a bigger teddy bear type of guy now is this sound familiar Uh to anybody who might be on the other side 
No, not really. Uh -uh. Then I'm pretty sure. And, you know, it's for me and everybody's gift works differently. Um, but for me, when I see, um, when I see energy, when I see a person, I see somebody coming into your life exactly the same as I do somebody on the other side. The difference can be is I'll see this person next to you where I see the people on the other side up elevated a little bit. So uh, having said that, having said that, I feel like this person is going to come in soon, depending on you. Uh, we have to be open and ready for someone to come in. We have to be in that space where we're out and about. Um, if we're, again, sitting on a couch all day, um, we're probably not going to have uh, the opportunity to run into this person. I do feel like this person does really like the water. I'm seeing a pier. I'm seeing um, boats. I do feel like this person likes to be out and about all day long. Um, mm -hmm. They are not at all sedentary. They like to, they're very, very, very active. Um, but they are ready for a partner and they are ready for someone to, oh, you know, uh, be their first mate. I don't know if that makes sense or not. First mate. Yep. Yeah, first mate. Um, right. It's funny because I did not expect that to come out of my mouth. So perhaps I'm not going to say this person has a boat, but perhaps they do have a boat. Doesn't mean it's a big luxury cruiser, but, uh -huh. you know, maybe they have a boat. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So I would say get ready because you and this person have the potential to have a lot of fun, a lot of excitement together. Um, not in that crazy chaotic way either, but just in that way where the two of you can have adventures together. This person does like to, um, I don't know if it's go sailing, but definitely be uh, be in on near the water a, a bit. Um, and they also right. like to... Um, Okay, the the statement I'm hearing for whatever this means is they're romantic in an odd way. I don't know really. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I really don't know. Like, I don't either, but it's interesting. But I, you'll have uh, to let you'll have. You to, know, I'm wondering. Yeah. I ha I have a um I have a dating profile on a website that's deactivated right now. I'm wondering if I should turn it back on. Nope. 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 Um you're going to nope. meet this okay. person. Okay. You're going to meet this person organically. You just need to get out. You need to be out and about. Okay. You need to be um okay. again near water. And if there are any what do they call those places where you go and get fruits and farmers markets? If there are any farmers markets yeah. near water, I would be going there and sitting and eating a little lunch okay. and, uh, um, you know, when you can and just enjoying the outside right. and, and being in that sort of environment, because I feel like that's probably where you're going to have a, a good opportunity to meet this person is near. I'm not saying hang out by the water every single day. It's going to happen how it's going to happen. But, mm -hmm. but I would do, I'm, I'm just right. hearing you should start going to farmer's markets also and getting, um, and, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, I seriously don't know if that was my brain that just took a pause or my mouth, but either way, do you know what it is? Oh my gosh, it just hit me. I did not put caffeine in my drink this morning. I, I, not, not a drink, oh, not like, it. not like, not like whiskey or anything like that, but like I, I made a smoothie and usually in my smoothie, I'll put my um, spark, which is so freaking good um, because it has a caffeine and the amino acids and the vitamins. And um, 
I forgot to do that. So there's there's the reason my brain is just stopping on me. Um, so what I'm going to tell you is be out in public, be out and about. And over the next two weeks to four weeks, you're going to meet three or four guys. That is why they gave you the description. So such a clear description of this particular Got guy it. and he's a teddy bear and he thinks he's funny he might be funny <laughs> <laughs> he might be i love when you say he thinks he's funny well it's okay because <laughs> this is even funnier i think i'm funny not everybody thinks i'm funny but i i think i'm freaking hilarious right. sometimes i'm like you didn't get that joke you just have no sense of humor what's wrong with you no i'm kidding but no he thinks he's funny but he has that you know what it is he has that i think he has that very dry one-off like you'll be talking and all of a sudden just that one-off comment that it like like catches you off guard i feel like that might be right. his sense of humor i do feel like you two are gonna have have quite okay so here's what they're saying you're gonna have quite a relationship the one thing though he is a bigger boned guy to be to begin with and i do I don't feel like he's okay. severely overweight, but I do feel like he does have a bit of a belly and he is a bigger guy. Like stocky. So he's like stuck, just like a stocky yeah, person. Like, like, you know, that, you know? Yeah. yes, that teddy bear thing, but you, you're, it cannot be your agenda to change that. Okay. Don't ever, because right. I think he might. You know, if he likes who he, if people like who they are, let them be who they are. Um, and, right. and you'll be, you'll be good with it. Um, I mean, he'll be, he'll be good with it. So I think if, mm -hmm. as long as um, that's not a deal breaker for you and he's not like his legs look from what I can see, they look good. It's just that little bit in the belly and nothing Nothing mm -hmm. really major, but he's 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 seemingly mm -hmm. a very good guy. He's seemingly a very good man. So yeah, I think if you nice. Like, my only um my only deal breakers are cigarette smokers and married men. Yeah. So, oh, seriously, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. yes, yes, so. yes. Or not even married. Like if you're with somebody else, be with that person. If you want to try something new, let that person go, go. Not like we need a break. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then, and then yeah. go see what's out there. Just be fair to everybody involved. And I want to thank everybody so, so very much for joining me today. I will be back Monday at noon central. If I did not get to meet you today, please call back Monday and I will get your call. If you call in 15 minutes early, you're top of the line to get in. Um, and until Monday, have an absolutely amazing weekend. And remember, you are loved and you matter. You are vital and you are important. Thank you so much for being here with me today.